A3 weather and show you this, a live look at Rancho Cordova. And you can see some of those clouds there in the distance and uh, a little bit of rain there on the lens. We want to send it over now to meteorologist Heather Waldman for a look at where the storm is right now. Yeah, as promised, just a few light scattered showers for the valley. That's sort of going to be the theme as we go through this afternoon. Showers a little bit more widespread for the San Joaquin Valley, but from Sacramento on northward, a lot of dry area. Of course, you go up into the foothills, air moving up the west slope of the Sierra. That's where we have some of that more persistent but light rain. Also watching that snow in the Sierra up above 6,000 feet. No chain control yet, but we are expecting that to change here, especially once we get past sunset. Temperature drops just enough for that snow to start to accumulate on the pavement. Couple of breezy spots too. Not a whole lot going on through the valley, but gusts in Auburn and Placerville around 20 miles per hour. And we've seen some occasional gusts around 25 miles per hour at lake level in the Sierra. Satellite picture shows us the scope of the system. This is the first of two that we'll be watching through the next several days. This line off here that you see that's right along the north coast and stretching offshore. That's the main sort of front that's going to come through as that moves in probably around eight or nine o'clock this evening. We'll get a couple of hours of some steadier rain around the valley, but that too shouldn't cause any issues. So here's Futurecast showing us through this afternoon. Again, that line of showers, that front that I pointed out that builds in around eight or nine o'clock. We're still seeing the persistent showers along the west slope and yeah, the snow pretty continuous in the Sierra. Snow level is probably going to drop down to about 5000 feet overnight today tonight, so that will lead to some chain control in a spot like Blue Canyon or up along Highway 50. You'll likely have chain control at least from Kybers into the Myers area, and that may linger into early Thursday morning. But just like what we showed you yesterday, this model still showing that Thursday should clear out fairly quickly. Maybe not a whole lot of sunshine, but certainly a whole lot of dry time for the valley, the foothills into the Sierra chance for a shower popping up in the afternoon. Those will be relatively few and far between. This is what it looks like right now over South Lake Tahoe. Those are water droplets hitting the lens temperature here sitting in the upper 30s, so it's not quite cold enough for snow to reach the ground and really start accumulating, but we'll pick up a few inches around the south shore of Tahoe overnight and into tomorrow. But again, most areas mainly dry on Thursday. Second system we're watching that comes in Friday afternoon and hangs around into most of Saturday and the chance for a couple of showers for some of us on Easter Sunday. That's something we've worked into the forecast here over the last day or so. So here's the system dropping in from the north by Friday afternoon into the evening. That's our best chance of seeing some widespread rain in the valley. Rain totals again look relatively light. It should be more than what we're seeing tonight, but we're not expecting issues with that system. That shower chance lingers into Saturday. Sunday for the valley is mainly going to be dry. We're mentioning that potential for a shower just in case, but if you're in the foothills or the Sierra, and maybe a little bit soggier there, something we'll keep an eye on. So for folks in the valley,